Harris and article concerning Boeing's pitch to the U.S. Air Force of a cheap, modestly upgraded F-15X fighter elicited lamentations from some commenters that the Air Force was not enticed by a more ambitious proposal for the F-15SE Silent Eagle, an F-15 with a reduced radar cross-section. Reduced radar cross-sections RCS, are a common feature in the cutting-edge O4.5 generation fighters. Before reduced RCS engineering was widely understood, manufacturers designed fighter like the F-15 or F-16 that had an RCS of around 3 to 5 meters 2 or greater. By comparison, the US military's newest fourth generation fighter, the the FAR-18 EF Super Hornet, might as well be called the Silent Hornet with an RCS ranging between 0.1 and 1 square meter. The French Rafale has a 1M2 RCS, and the Swedish Gripen and Eurofighter Typhoon around half at 0.5M2. Relatively small, RCS-optimized fighters also include the F-16C, 1.2M2, and Chinese J-10, 1.5M2, even Russia boasts that its longtime counterpart to the F-15, the Flanker, has been improved with an RCS between 1 to 3 square meters in the most advanced Su-35S model. However, RCS is not uniform across all aspects of a plane, so these designs are doubtlessly more visible from certain angles. Furthermore, RCS is often calculated from frontal radar visibility of a clean airplane not carrying weapons. Of course, fighters will be carrying weapons. So the observability for fourth-generation fighters will usually be inferior in practice to these optimal figures. In 2009 Boeing unveiled a Silent Eagle demonstrator with stealth characteristics stemming from its use of a conformal weapons bay to store radar conspicuous weapons internally, application of expensive radar absorbent materials, RAM, and limited airframe modifications including outwardly canted vertical stabilizers. A conformal weapons bay has also been proposed for the Super Hornet, but the Navy has so far demurred. They were also updated to have since migrated to the proposed F-15X including an infrared search and track system, an improved APG-82 radar, modernized fly-by-wire controls, and an upgraded defensive suite. In the early 2010s, Boeing marketed the Silent Eagle to F-15 operators including Israel, Japan, Saudi Arabia and South Korea, but none of them jumped at the opportunity. There's a reason why Air Forces haven't been too enticed by a quasi-stealth fighter, and that's because there's a steep difference in performance between quasi-stealthy and the real thing. This is because for every order of magnitude, factor of 10, RCS decreases by, detection range decreases only by 43.7%. Thus a 1 meter 2 RCS will not be detected at 1 tenth the distance that a 10 square meters RCS will, but something more like 3 fifths the distance. That's why true stealth jets like the F-22 and F-35s have had their cross-sections reduced to around the size of a golf ball and a marble .001 to .0001 M2. An F-15SE is thought to have a cross-section comparable to the Super Hornet with possibly a .1 M2 cross-section from the front and one or higher from other angles. This is a useful edge, but not a decisive one. First. Note manufacturer claimed detection ranges for average jet fighters for the following radars, then consider the benefit of reducing RCS by an order of magnitude or two. Manufacturer claims are noted, the rest are derived from the above formula, and thus not authoritative but seem to conform with claims. Designers of Clean Sheet 4.5 generation fighters certainly should aim for lower RCS. However, Boeing is seeking to sell the F-15X on the premise of its affordability and low operating costs. However, a Silent Eagle-style F-15 would entail a modified airframe and require expensive radar absorbent materials, diminishing the cost savings. That Silent Eagle would have to remain substantially lower than the much stealthier F-35A's projected $85 million cost or there would little point to procuring them. The fact that a figure of $100 million per Silent Eagle was widely floated around in the past does not seem encouraging on that front. Of course, a Silent Eagle would still possess certain speed and range advantages relative to an F-35, but compared to the proposed F-15 exit would actually sacrifice range. 
that can form a weapons base being in the place of fuel tanks, and payload, up to 22 externally mounted missiles on the F-15X, versus 4 to 6 internal missiles on the F-15SE, and for routine air defense and ground support, low observable characteristics would be of little value. Low observable 4th generation jets do have a tangible advantage, but far from a decisive one when compared to stealth jets. Spending extra on stealthier F-15s would likely come at too high a cost for too little benefit when it comes to replacing the F-15C.